I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Nirmal Raj for scoring rank number three in MCH endocrine surgery, endocrine and breast surgery, and uh, fabulous and a great achievement because number of seats are very, very less in the speciality and scoring such a good rank. And uh, it's really fantastic and great. And best wishes Thank to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So can I know a little brief background history of yours from where you started and what you have done? Uh, Yes, uh, I actually hail from Kerala. I did my MBBS from uh, AIMS in New Delhi, okay. uh, 2013 batch. And uh, after that, I completed my MS in general surgery from PGIMER Chandigarh. So after that, uh, now on to the super institute. Yes. <laughs> so you want to do again your super specialty in institute uh, travel to complete. <laughs> yes. So why endocrine surgery? Uh, sir, it was uh, actually right from my starting of uh, MS. Uh, after I joined my MS, I happened to be associated with uh, a breast unit, which also does endocrine surgeries uh, in, in PGI. So uh, getting exposed to that, after that, I, I took up my thesis also in breast surgery. So uh, I had the passion uh, in the subject. So that obviously made me... Choose this, uh, choose this brand, sir. Okay, great. So, can I know what all you did after that? I mean, how you started the preparation? When did you start? How much of time you were able to allocate? I mean, I hope you have been doing simultaneously both your program of uh, MS and also. Uh, it's actually to be frank, sir. During my MS was uh, pretty hectic here in PGI, so uh, we didn't get much of time for the uh, MCH preparation, but. Basics were there. Uh, our teachers, uh, gratitude to my teachers here, the PGI. So uh, basics were taught, and uh, all the practical knowledges were there. Uh, apart from that, with the uh, MS final exam preparation, basic textbooks I read, Bailey, uh, Bailey, Sabiston, and Schwartz. So along with that, after the MS, uh, so the focused preparation on the MCH was done with some focused uh, specific uh, textbooks like Clark's in endocrine. So. And I can't miss out uh, the importance speed has uh, made it, like uh, the classes which I have attended, especially to others, sir, uh, who has uh, done a great job in uh, making the concepts clear and it's, it's been wonderful, sir. Great. So how much of time would have dedicated me? used to read every day or watch the videos every day? I mean, uh, I mean how was the time allocated? You know, or it's one kind of a last minute full go preparation or something. What is that? Uh, it, it was like, sir, uh, for this exam, I started from uh, Jan, Jan, January. So for a good uh, four month preparation was there. So uh, daily, I used to, uh, since I've read all the three uh, textbooks, endocrine part, uh, I allotted time for revision daily uh, of topics as well as uh, from uh, the videos, class videos. Uh, daily, I used to watch speed videos. And after uh, after a topic, some test from the question banks, that was enough. Like a maximum, like for four or five hours, five, six hours a day. Now, what is that you are want to uh, tell your juniors or the junior colleagues how to choose speciality in MCH? And what is the message that you want to give them uh, for their selection of speciality yes. and also for when to start and how to start and how much time to be dedicated for that. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, in MS, uh, all of us, as we know, we are more exposed to abdominal cases. So there is a natural tendency for people to like gastro. Even I, I liked a bit of hepatobiliary part and all. So... Uh, By default. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, but... I, I would say the exposure to uh, subspecialities during our postings that has been a like great eye opener also. Uh, so uh, I think uh, exposure to that will ignite the passion and like uh, make the make it clear what branch we have. So that idea I think should come in into the first second year or so. It should be clear. And after that, uh, if we focus our studies as such, focus on the subject's topic of interest, obviously, if we like a subject more, we tend to read that more. So that would, I think, make the path clear which branch to choose, sir. Great. Now, uh, I mean, was your preparation only for uh, NESS or you had an idea for NEET also? 
yeah sir actually i uh, i was planning for ina only uh, for, for most uh, but i had given last neat uh, but couldn't preparation was not up to the mark uh, so couldn't score a good rank i went and wrote just to feel the paper <laughs> i would say to be frank but uh, i was planning for ina only great so how many questions did you attend this exam so i attempted around the it the paper was pretty tough so uh, like uh, the specialty part and uh, general i should say I did not expect so much of uh, uh, gastro questions uh, in the general part this year so uh, i i attempt i didn't i didn't attempt more than uh, 72 questions like less than that uh, there were a lot of questions which were uh, dicey so uh, i made the mistake of attempting too much prior uh, exams prior so this time i limited the questions only you know yeah so yes <laughs> great so uh, time to thank whom all you want to thank you can do so like to thank my parents uh, my wife she is also uh, doing her md in uh, pgi itself I just finished md pediatrics so uh, my teachers at pgi and uh, the coaching centers the speed and uh, your videos also sir general concepts core concepts also the specialty teachers other sir i would like to thank my mentor uh, whom i did thesis under especially dr siddhant and dr rishita from pgi so i would like to thank them for inspiring great once again we wish you all the best and all the success for a great thank career so much sir just an endocrine surgery keep going thank keep you. all the best to you thank you so much sir thank you thank you with the lesson